हेलो जैसा कि लाइट बंद है तो तुम समझ चुके होगे इट्स टाइम फॉर स्कैरी वीडियो लास्ट पार्ट पे तुम सबने बहुत अच्छा रिस्पॉन्स दिया सो आई एम हियर बैक अगेन बाय द वे मुझे हॉरर वीडियोस रात में ही देखना पसंद है तो अभी रात के लिटरली एक बज रहे लेट स्टार्ट रिएक्टिंग टू स्कैरियस वीडियो कम से कम स्टॉप करूंगा भाई मैं कम से कम पॉज करूंगा पिछली बार and began taking pictures but then something very odd happened the dolls seemed to move right before her eyes linda grabbed her phone and started filming bhai last time bhi apan ne yaad hai doll wala ek dekhe the pichle video mein ye sari ye sari gudiyan bhootiya ke ho jati hai bhai matlab Soon after this Linda and her partner began to experience strange and unexplained activity. Personal items around their house would go missing and objects seemed to move on their own or get knocked off shelves. One day Linda gets a bad haircut from a local hairdresser, so she decides to make a video showing off her terrible new hairdo. But what happens next is truly bizarre. Hi. <laughs> a lot of people want to see what my hair looks like. So I want to see the sides. Like my bangs, I've had to like fix my bangs myself. But this is what it looks like if I don't straighten pieces of it, and like <clears throat> it's just a whole mess. Dang it! <laughs> that scared me. Okay. Kind. Of, what the f was that? Did you see that? Like it ran? Oh no! Absolutely not. No. At first, Linda believes that all the frightening activity in her house is likely caused by the playful ghost of a little girl who might be attached to her new dolls. She even finds the whole idea kind of funny and jokes about it online. One day, Linda sets up a silly video for her social media where she puts a Chucky doll inside a cupboard, waiting for it to fall out. But this is when things start to take a terrifying turn. Think it's about to be a mess. भाई मैं बड़े होके अपने बच्चों को कभी गुड़िया नहीं दिलाऊंगा मेरे को इतना पता है मैं जब बाप बनूंगा गुड़िया बैन कर दूंगा भाई मैं घर अबे भाग जाना लड़कियां इतनी डंब क्यों होती हैं काम कर उसको गोद में okay, really दूध पिला दे oh, okay. oh my god okay okay jokes over jokes over the video goes very wrong as the doll's hair begins to move for no reason and then Chucky's head seems to suddenly spin around all on its own and things just get even weirder from here One night Linda and her partner are asleep in bed when they are woken up by the sound of loud banging from their front room. The bangs are so loud and intense that the couple believes that someone is trying to break into their house. They immediately call the police. So, officers arrive on scene and review footage recorded by the couple's front door ring camera. This is our house. Yeah, let's look at it for a bit. Yeah, dude. Something's in her fucking window right now, bro. Stop being hyper, please. It's scaring me. Ready? Yeah. Something's in her fucking window. As the motion triggered video starts, it looks like someone or something has pulled the couple's front curtain open. But even creepier, whoever this person is, they appear to be inside the house. Then whoever it is seems to slam the curtain closed again with a bang. Linda swears that she and her partner stayed inside the bedroom and didn't move until police arrived. The officers checked the house inside and out. but there was no one else there so now 
Linda has had enough of the creepy dolls. Recently, she attempted to get rid of the dolls at a yard sale. But in a darkly funny twist, Linda says that someone actually stole three of the four dolls from her yard sale. To the thief that stole these dolls out of the yard sale at three o'clock this morning, you're going to regret it, they're haunted. Had you waited till sunlight, <laughs> you would have seen the sign that was under them that said haunted dolls. If you have children, please don't buy. So, good luck to Bye, but took those ye jo dolls. Hai, Linda, bhai, ye puri, like matlab, chill hai, bhai. Ye is ko leke, jase pata Hello, kuch. doggy. Reddit user Love Tennessee is driving to work at around 6 in the morning. He receives a text message from his frantic wife who asks him to check their surveillance camera footage on his phone. When he watches the video back, it chills him to his core. By the way guys, you know that they say that those dogs live, okay, those animals live, they can see the spirits, like, we can't see our naked eyes, but animals can. That's why, if you have a dog outside of your house, or especially if you have a dog outside of your house, or especially if you have a dog outside of your house. Spooky little voice can be heard whispering, Hello, and the family dog just goes nuts. किसी ने हेलो बोला कुत्ते की गान फट गई भाई आई शुडंट लाफ ब्रो बट द रेडिट यूजर सेज दैट अदर देन हिज वाइफ एंड डॉग नो वन एल्स वाज होम एट द टाइम ऑफ द रिकॉर्डिंग ही सेज दैट दे हैव नेवर एक्सपीरियंस्ड एनीथिंग लाइक दिस एंड दे डोंट नो व्हाट टू मेक ऑफ द क्रीपी लिटिल वॉइस सो डिड द कपल्स डॉग गेट स्केयर्ड बाय अ पैरानॉर्मल एंटिटी or just what is that creepy little voice? Old School Cathedral High School in Los Angeles, California was built over what was once a cemetery. The school even honors its dark history by featuring real pieces of old recovered headstones on its walls inside the school. So late one Friday night, a janitor is working the night shift at Cathedral High School when something happens that makes his blood run cold. All right, I um, I usually don't record while I'm on the job, um, but this is freaking me out. It's sort of unreal. I'm here at work. I'm here in the janitor's closet. Uh, yeah, let me just show you guys. Just to, I don't know, let you guys know this school was built on the cemetery. Um, I don't know if that helps my situation or not, but previous janitors that have worked here have tried to tell everyone that, you know, every night something happens, some, some spooky, I don't know, paranormal or whatever you want to call it, but. Yeah, I didn't really believe me. I don't so, get so it, bhai. Look, Kabristan ke upar kuch bhi banate kyo hai? Matlab, Kabristan ko chhod do na unki jagah pe. What's been freaking me out is this one right here. Uh, no matter where I'm at in the classroom or what I decide to do, it just follows me. Go on. And do your thing, you stupid balloon. I got you on camera now, so let's just uh. Mm, see that right there. Um, वो बलून उसका पीछा कर रहा है तो obviously किसी ने बलून पकड़ा होगा किसी बच्चे की भी आत्मा हो सकती है भाई मैं जब बाप बनूंगा मेरे घर पे बलून्स भी बैन रहेंगे no goodya and no balloons for my kids. Ooh. 
भाई ये बहुत स्पूकी है ये तो फेक भी नहीं हो सकता सी नो 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 It just it just follows me no matter what. Ooh. No, I can't. The janitor is completely alone when a red balloon inside one of the classrooms seems to start moving on its own and follows him out into the hallway. Suddenly, he spots a dark shadow quickly darting past a window on the other end of the school. Now, previous janitors at the school claim to have witnessed multiple incidents of paranormal activity. So when the custodian captures this spooky evidence, he shows it to the building security guard. It's a You see how it's falling out the classroom too? Look at the look at the back though. Look yeah. at look at the class with the light. What the f I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. You saw that, right? Nah, bro. Nah, man. Yeah, no. How long you been working security here, man? How long man, you been working security? I, man, I mean, I've been here a few months, but bro, I ain't never seen nothing like that. As you can see, even the security guard is a bit freaked. So, did the janitor have an encounter with the spirits who are buried in the ground below the school? Let me know what you think. बट आई जेनुअनली डोंट थिंक भाई लोग मतलब ऐसा क्यों करते हैं कि भाई तुम ग्रेव यार्ड के ऊपर कुछ भी बना रहे हो आई थिंक मतलब ये मेरा अंदाज़ा है कि शायद जिस ज़मीन में कब्रिस्तान रहता है वो ज़मीन शायद फिर मतलब सस्ती मिलती होगी अब आई डोंट नो मतलब अगर तुम्हें कहीं स्कूल बनाना है तो अपरेंटली मेरा यह मानना है कि कब्रिस्तान वाली जो ज़मीन है वो शायद सस्ती पड़ती होगी इसलिए लोग खरीदते होंगे बट क्यों भाई छोड़ दो भाई जो भी चीजें ग्रेव के ऊपर बनती है इट टर्न टू बी हॉन्टेड लाइक एवरी टाइम भाई तुम कोई भी वीडियो देख लो हॉस्पिटल हो ग्रेव के ऊपर हॉन्टेड स्कूल हो ग्रेव के ऊपर हॉन्टेड होटल हो ग्रेव के ऊपर हॉन्टेड भाई वो भूतों की जमीन है यार videos so if you see a scary video that you think would be great on the top five email us at nukestop मेरी एक्स का चेहरा प्लीज मुझे नहीं देखना मुझे नहीं देखना फीलिंग कर्ज भाई मुझे नहीं देखना नो भाई नहीं 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 मेरी गान फट रही मैं झूठ नहीं बोल रहा नाउ द गाय वाज फ्रीक्ड आउट एज व्हाट एवर इज आउटसाइड द विंडो सीम्स टू डिसअपीयर व्हेन द लाइट्स आर टर्न्ड ऑन बट लुक क्लोजर जस्ट आउटसाइड द विंडो वी कैन सी दैट देयर इज स्टिल अ स्ट्रेंज पेयर ऑफ ग्लोइंग आईज स्टेयरिंग बैक एट द मैन इनसाइड नाउ ऑनलाइन व्यूअर्स सेड दैट दिस वीडियो कुड इजीली बी एक्सप्लेन्ड एज अ पर्सन और एन एनिमल स्टैंडिंग जस्ट आउटसाइड द विंडो हां यार फेक भी तो हो सकता है सो टू प्रूव देम रॉन्ग द मैन फिल्म्स द ऑफिस विंडो अगेन अच्छा लोगों ने उस पे शक किया कि ये गलत है तो उसने वापस से फिल्म किया उन्हें ये प्रूव करने के लिए कि नहीं आई एम राइट ओ Turns out the office is actually two stories up with no way for anything to climb up or sit outside the window. So who or what is this? You decide. The crossing. Somewhere in the Middle East, a guy is riding his motorcycle down a lonely mountain road in the middle of nowhere. He encounters something that he just can't explain. यार ये सुनसान सड़कों वाले भूत हमेशा बहुत डरावने रहते हैं यार मतलब भाई मेरा अकेले गाड़ी चलाने में बहुत डर लगता है thing seems to walk across the road right in front of him now that's not so weird but whatever this is 
it seems to be walking on two legs and then it seems to raise itself up and jumps right over the roadside guardrail. The motorcycle rider is shocked. He rechecks his video footage when he gets home, but he has no idea what he encountered on that isolated mountain road. Disturbing what results. YouTuber Tyler Blanchard is very much a skeptic when it comes to ghosts and the paranormal. Tyler believes that the reason ghost hunters usually find so-called paranormal evidence in haunted places is simply coincidence, coupled with the fact that they expect to experience paranormal activity. Are ghosts real or just scared people imagining things? So Tyler cooks up a very interesting experiment. He invites his friends to go on a ghost hunt. However, he splits them into two groups. One group, including Tyler, goes to a house that many paranormal investigators claim to be extreme. By the way, if you don't know, to, uh, I know him. Matlab, not personally, obviously. And this is the one who is in the house. I have a lot of videos on Mr. Beast. Ki bhi se videos mein chuka hai. So let's see if this is fake or real. He haunted the Brackenford Manor in Lake Arrowhead, California. But the second group. They are just sent to a randomly chosen Airbnb. This house has never had a reported death in it. No guests have ever recorded any paranormal activity. It's just a normal house. Now, this house is not haunted in any way. However, the second group is told a fake ghost story about how this typical random Airbnb house is extremely haunted and was the site of some grisly and terrible events. None of which is true. <laughs> well, in the 70s, there was a family that lived in this house. A burglar basically broke in and the family, and it's rumored that they still are here. Oh man, not this ghost stuff, man. <laughs> so, the experiment begins, and the ghost hunt starts at the real haunted house. Fern Manor. Now, Tyler isn't expecting anything to happen or to find any kind of paranormal activity. So when he and his group start investigating, they're mostly cracking jokes and playing pranks. He's asleep. Tyler, I know you guys are hiding somewhere. He's talking to himself to try to keep himself from getting really scared. Funny prank. Let's hand it now, am I right? Please. I heard a noise over here. This clip is haunted. Boy! <laughs> For the love of God. Ah! I'm not alive. For a good bit, I was scared. <laughs> but things are about to get a bit more serious and a bit spookier. The guys head to the house's cellar and use a twist flashlight and an ultrasound motion sensor music box that plays a tune whenever it detects movement. Now it's calibrated. Everything that happens from this point is something going in front of it. If you're here, can you can you make the music box start? Okay. That's good. Um ring the music box if it's if it's okay if we can sit down. Thank you. This is about right now. Let's go. That is phenomenal. Honestly, this seemed so unexplainable, but not as unexplainable as the not haunted house. Is anybody here with us? All right, literally nothing was happening there. Uh, this, this is weird. If you are here, would you mind turning on one of the flashlights? Or the motion sensor, whichever you prefer. You prefer the motion sensor? Oh, oh both, I guess. Light. That's crazy. Yeah, that just doesn't happen. Unless there's something in front. Wow. And even after repositioning, it still went off. Well, thank you very much for having us. We're gonna, we're gonna go upstairs to this beautiful home. Please stay stay here. It's been awesome hanging out with you, uh, but we're gonna pack up our things and, and go. Thank you for this experience. I wonder if the equipment is also going on and off at the other house or if it's just- I just one thing to tell you, brother. Because you all are interested in horror stuff, that's why you're watching this video. Whenever bhai, you face ghost encounters, I have studied that always be respectful. Like don't disrespect, don't just ha ha he he hoo hoo, don't laugh it out, come and laugh at home. But at that very moment, like look at this YouTuber, by they all are being they all are being very respectful, and that's one of the major things that you need to do if you are especially you know facing an encounter with the ghost. And by up 
मैं किसी और स्टोरी टाइम वीडियो में बताऊंगा बट यू नो समथिंग सिमिलर टू दिस हैपन विद मी थ्री इयर्स और फोर इयर्स बैक भाई आई ट्राइड प्लेइंग ओजा बोर्ड ओइजा बोर्ड ओजा बोर्ड एंड भाई माई फ्रेंड्स स्टिल वो अभी भी बिलीव नहीं करते मेरे पेपर मैंने मेरे एक सीनियर भैया के साथ खेला था मेरे स्कूल के एंड भाई एट दैट पॉइंट ओजा बोर्ड में तुम कॉइन रखते हो एंड वी वर प्लेइंग एंड भाई सही में वो कॉइन अपने आप मूव हुआ एंड मुझे शक हुआ मेरे सीनियर पे कि मे बी ही इज प्रैंकिंग मी तो मैंने घर आके वापस खेला मेरे रूम पे एंड तभी भी कॉइन अपने आप मूव हुआ सो so, डिटेल में कभी और बताऊंगा स्टोरी टाइम में बट या मैंने भी सिमिलर एक्सपीरियंस लिया है सो so, The other house, or if it's just going off here, because if it's just going off here, that is pretty sus. Real, right? Like that's crazy. I mean, that box hasn't worked at all ever, 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 ever. No. And so we get we here. calibrated it three times in there, and it worked every time. There's some presence moving in front of that machine. Now Tyler gave both groups the exact same type of flashlight and motion-activated music box, but only the ones at the haunted Brackenfern Manor are activating. The instruments at the haunted house actually seem to respond to their questions. While over at the Airbnb, the same instruments don't do anything. And the night just gets weirder. I walk past this door right here and there's something closed in there. Which one? Let's put the box in. विंडो सो इन फाइनल रिजल्ट फ्रॉम द म्यूजिक बॉक्स They try one more test. We're up doing some late night research. Leave it silent for exactly 10 seconds. उटिंग and they don't really experience anything unexplainable. So did Tyler's attempt to prove that ghosts don't exist actually prove that they do? Well, you decide. You can watch this full scary experiment over on But yaar baaki video ke comparison mein ye itna scary nahi tha okay. Very Now these are going to be scary cause it's going to be a top right before sunrise when Lisa Nathan from Essex England opens the back door to let out the family dog. But something happens that sends Lisa running right back inside. Whoa! Whoa! What? A weird pale something can be seen flying around Lisa before she freaks out and slaps it away. After reviewing the footage, Lisa believes she might have caught evidence of a fairy. Now I'm certainly not saying that whatever this is is a fairy but it definitely looks very odd and no one seems to really know what this thing is. So if you have any idea on what this weird little flying thing is, let me know down in the comments. The woman in my head. Hey, Naomi kitna daravna hai. It's 3 o'clock at night when truck driver Kim McGill is headed down the interstate in Markham, Illinois. Road, when something aake. happens that is any driver's worst nightmare. He can go meet up with him and see if she can get him to confess. And it's not a decision I'm sure, but Amy ultimately agrees. She wears the white dress. Did you see it? A woman wearing a long white dress can be seen crossing the highway dangerously close to the cars and trucks zooming right by her. 
almost as if she just doesn't care. I thought it was really, really weird. I, I It creeped me out. I had goosebumps for like an hour straight on my arms. It was really creepy. It was, it was scary. Now, whatever this mysterious highway figure is, it has Ken seriously freaked out. And the next day, the story gets much, much darker. Next day bhi kuch hota hai. Because you see, the next night at the exact same spot, around the exact same time, a vehicle swerves and has a tragic accident on the interstate, ending two lives. But again, we're still keeping a close eye on this crash on I-57. What's the latest? Indeed. Unfortunately, I have sad news to report about this crash here, Laura. Sorry to change gears on such a uh, beautiful and pleasant morning here. It's anything but on the lanes down there. Uh, this uh, terrible, violent crash happened before 2 a.m. this morning. State police now reporting two people uh, have passed in uh, the, this uh, incident here on northbound I-57 near 147, just outside of Posen and Dixmore. The drivers and passengers in the crash claimed that they saw a mysterious woman in a white dress walking on the road. They say they swerved to miss her, and that caused the accident. Um, I had another driver reach out to me after I posted it on Facebook that he was going through there about 20 minutes before I did with another driver right behind him, and they seen the same thing as I did. Today, at the same time as we went through there, there was a car accident, multiple cars, um, two people ended up dying, two people went to the hospital. Well, the two people that went to the hospital gave a statement that they seen a white figure in the road and that's why the one car swerved into the other car. Weirdly, despite these eyewitness reports, cameras posted along the highway show no one walking in the road at that time. So did King capture an entity on his dash cam that caused a terrible car accident? You decide. Abandoned? Over 13 years ago, YouTube Urban Explorers Smash TV Canada set out one night to explore the abandoned old McCormick factory in London, Ontario, Canada. Now the group is aware that the property is often inspected by security. So when they hear strange sounds from somewhere in the building, they immediately suspect that it could be security and they turn off their flashlights to avoid getting caught. But what happens next is downright chilling. I'm gonna turn mine off then. Somebody's here. Somebody is here. Who's there? Hello? Hello? Watch the light up. Hello? Hello? Who's there? I saw something, I swear to God. Anybody there? or something can be seen walking into a room at the end of the hall, but the group doesn't see anything. After hearing bizarre noises throughout the building, the group eventually leaves to go home. They post their video to YouTube and many of their viewers immediately point out the eerie figure hiding in the darkness. But Jason and Chris said that they have no idea who or what this could be. And they say that the room to the left that the person can be seen walking into was just a dead end. So, who or what is this? I, you have to appreciate me for one thing, guys. Bhool bhulaiya nikli kitni achhi thi. Bhool bhulaiya two ne hug diya. Istri ka part two ne hug diya. Bahubali ka part 2 utna achcha nahi tha, mid mid tha. So what I'm trying to say, part 2 mein wohi intensity carry out karna is very difficult. But I did it. Bhai part 2 apna part 1 se bhi zyada scary hai. Part 1 mein phir bhi 
मतलब थी स्कैरी वीडियोस वहां पे भी थी बट मुझे ये ज्यादा स्कैरी लगा और आई डोंट नो लाइक यू डिसाइड इन द कमेंट सेक्शन आई विल सी यू इन द नेक्स्ट वन टिल देन फील ब्लेस